Hi there. So now we are going to do part three and I hope you have seen part one and part two because part three is continuation of part one and part two. So make sure that you watch those before seeing this. Okay. So now in this, what we are going to see is how can I make sure that I always work on the latest collection. All right. So there is an option Newman with Postman API which allow us to fetch the latest collection always. Okay. As you know that all your collection, all your work, right, is saved at the Postman clouds. Okay. So there we always have the latest data. But you need to authenticate yourself to fetch that data. Okay. So that's what we are going to see next. Okay. And what we are going to do is So these are the steps that you have to follow using Newman with the Postman APIs. So you have to first generate the API key. So with the help of that API key, you are going to generate a list of collections. All right. So you are going to identify your collection from that list and read its UID. Okay. So once you have the UID available, you are going to pass that UID and the API key. So then you have access to your collection and it will always be the latest updated one. Same way you can access your environments. Okay. So now we'll see that in action. Okay. Let's move to a website, the same website and using Newman with Postman APIs. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to click on this link. Okay. Let's click on this link. Yeah. So this is my workspace. Click on that. Click on integration. Right. Click on browse integrations. Postman APIs. <coughs> so I'm going to delete this API. Okay, and so you'll see this in your case. So click on that generate API and give it a name. So I'm giving Newman generate API key copy that and make sure that you copy it because the moment you close it, what you see in this list would be a masked key. So you'll not be able to retrieve it afterward. So open your notepad and paste it here and by the way I'm going to delete this so don't worry about it I'm going to delete this API key after this video okay so this is my API key so it's done let me close that so see it's masked all right so let's head back to the previous page okay so we have to go let's search that um, Yeah, so let's click on this link. What is the next thing that we have to do? So it is saying that fetch a list of your collection using this URL. Okay. So let me copy this here and copy this part and change your, your value. Okay. So now you can copy that and you can come here. Okay. And it's going to be a get request just click on that and now you see you have a list of collection these are my collections right so what I have to do is I have to identify this Newman collection so all you can do is you can search Newman collection so this is the UID of this collection okay so copy that paste it here so this is the collection ID go back to the site and this is how you are going to use that so copy this here and replace the dollar UID with this and your API key right so this one so this will give you access to your particular collection 
okay now is the next step what do we have to do obtain the environment using the okay so let me do this okay so now the next thing that we have to do is the same operation uh, so environments and I have to replace this key again this will give me the list of environments that I have okay and what do I want I want the QA environment again search for that so this is my environment and this is the UID for that environment okay so let me copy that and what do I have to do so it says so this is what I have to use okay so this is my D. so you have to do what you have to replace this part and also have to provide your IDs okay so this is my environment and this is my collection okay so now I have both these things right so what I have to do now very simple right now you know that new man run what do I have to provide here my collection what is my collection this is my collection okay. all right Right, let me write the command in here. Uh, there's some problem in command prompt. It is not liking. New man, run, and then in the codes, okay. And then hyphen E and in the codes again. Okay, so. This is it. Let me copy this. That allow me to paste it this time. Yeah. So this is pasted, and let me hit the enter key. Oh, I missed that. You know, one more flag that is key, and yeah. So we are getting that first certificate error. So let's do this. all right so it's failing all right so response time is less than this is what we are expecting but we are hitting the response time is 192 so let's do one thing now let's hit back to our postman and change this test case now we are expecting it to be below 700 all right so this time it would pass 700 let me save that okay and run this again and let's see if it is passing this time or not so it's passing let me change it back to 10 milliseconds 10 save that it's sync now and then come here re-execute that command and it is failing now all right so you're always working on your latest data all right so this is how you're going to work with postman api this is it for the video thank you so much thanks for watching